Oh, Mrs. Riley. Greg. Um, Dr. Woolock has been looking for you. Uh, Tina has lost consciousness again. Oh, no. He said not to worry, but, um... Oh, did you see Marco? Yes, Greg, I did see Marco, and don't worry. After tomorrow, he won't be a problem to anyone ever again. Vicky, how is it? I just talked to Larry. Is Tina still unconscious? Yes, yes, she is. Excuse me, Dorian. Excuse me, I, I really can't stay, and I, I do apologize. I, I, I'm on my way to the hospital. I just came by to ask you that uh, I haven't been able to get a hold of Joe, and if he comes oh, by here... Oh, yes, of course. When he comes by, we'll tell him about Tina and then send him right off to the hospital. Thank you, guys. What can I do for you, Vicki? Mr. Page, <clears throat> I need $50,000 in cash. 50000 Yes. Can I have it tomorrow morning? And from uh, which account? The foundation or... No, no, no. This has nothing to do with Dorian or the foundation. No. You can take it from my trust account or, or whatever you think is best. But I absolutely don't want Dorian to know anything about this. Well, of course. Can I count on you then? Can I have it in the morning? Vicky, I doubt very much that uh, it'll be ready in the morning. It'll probably be in the afternoon. But as quickly as possible? Yes, definitely. Good. I'll come to the bank early in the morning and I'll sign whatever papers you want me to sign. I'm going to have to go back to the hospital now. Mr. Page, thank you very much. Would you please make my apologies to Dorian and the others? Of course. You run along. Thank you. Good night. When I leave this town, it's going to be with Tina. And when I come back, it will be as your son-in-law. Oh, didn't Tina tell you about our little late-night photo session? Take a look at what your innocent 16-year-old ward is into. But will the guy on the street know the photos are phony? Will the porno shop that sells them know that? I'm quite sure you don't want to drag Tina through a scandal now, do you? I've got to get in there. I'm sorry. Doctor's orders. But you don't understand. I'm Tina's only living relative. I'm her brother. I came all the way from Colorado to see her. Oh, well, I hadn't realized that. No one mentioned that you were coming. I didn't know that you would be here, Victoria. I'm sure you didn't. Marco, get out of this hospital before I have you thrown out. And I'm not kidding. Look, would you at least see that Tina gets these? Here. I'll, uh, see you tomorrow, Vicki. He, he told me he was her brother. I, he is not to be allowed into Tina's room under any circumstances. And if he comes back here again, you are to call security and have him thrown out. No, no, Dr. Benson, it was Tina now, and they sent for Dr. Wallace. They promised they'd tell me something as soon as they know something. But did you see her? Well, yes, Greg, but she's unconscious. Honey, there you are. Joe, thank goodness you're here. The message I got in New York was garbled. I couldn't get any information from the hospital. How's Tina? How serious is she? It's a swelling on the brain. Uh, that's how Dr. Benson explained it, an, an accumulation of fluid. Well, what can they do about it? Well, darling, they, they've given her uh, medication to reduce the swelling, and, uh, well, they've, they've taken tests. They did a, a spinal tap, mm -hmm. and they've taken x-rays. At first, they had ruled out all possibilities of there being any hemorrhaging in the brain. What do you mean at first? Well, they can't be sure now because she keeps losing consciousness, so we just have to wait and see. Anything else? Uh, minor bruises, I think. That, that's all. Oh, I can't understand this. How could this happen? Anybody find out why Tina didn't get to school today? Uh, no, no, no I, I don't know. I, I can't figure it out either. Okay. Where, where did this accident happen? On Washington Avenue at the intersection of 5th Street. What's she, what's she doing in that part of town? 
I don't know, yeah, sweetheart. That's nowhere near her school. And at 9.30, she should have been in school anyway. Yeah, well, unless she missed the bus, huh? Well, if she had done that, she would have walked to school or asked one of the neighbors to drive her. Did she say anything when you talked to her? Sweetheart, I, I didn't really have a chance to ask too many questions. She was very upset and, and overwrought. At least that's what I assume it was. Darling, she was hysterical. She was terrified of me. It was, it was as if she was, didn't know who she was talking to. Or she thought she was talking to somebody else. And, and she got so upset, the nurse finally had to ask me to leave. You know, I was here. They moved Tina upstairs. I'm going to go check on her now, and I'll get back to you as soon as I find out anything. Yeah, right. right. Thanks, Larry. Right. Has anybody else been in this here besides you? Well, doctors and nurses, yeah. I guess. Yeah, um, I know that. I did. Yeah? Yeah, um, I was hanging around here, and when nobody else was around, I, I went in for just a second. Mm -hmm. She looked okay. Uh, can I get you folks some coffee? Mm -hmm. I'd love some coffee, Greg. Hey, well, look, Greg, you... You hang on here. I'll get it, okay? I, uh, have to make a couple of calls to the office. Mrs. Oh. Riley? I know it's, uh, none of my business, but you didn't say anything to, uh, Mr. Riley about Marco. I know. How come? Greg, I will tell him when this is all over. But right now, I don't particularly want to add to his problems. Besides that, my husband has a terrible temper, and quite frankly, I don't know what he would do if he found out. Mm -hmm.